What's up? Let's try this again, shall we? Take two of the Rajon Rondo going in on Chris Paul. The first video, we don't know what they did. We don't have a clue the first about how they decided that they were going to handle the actual making of that video. And it seems like we're right back in the same boat again. Mm. All right. Okay. I guess some people are coming in now. I I don't I can't even see or tell what's going on. It's a minute 35 in and we barely getting people creeping in to the chat. But anyway, let's begin. Rajon Rondo put out a statement about him spitting and all this because the narratives on the internet everywhere else people have been going in on rondo for spitting at chris paul that's that is the unified worldwide response to chris paul's actions How you doing, Lorenzo? Uh, right now, YouTube is having their problems again. And the fact that Rondo actually uh, put out the statement claiming that he did not deliberately spit at Chris Paul. He's saying that the mouthpiece was in his mouth and he was trying to talk and he's like, the spit actually came out. He's like, if I actually spit on somebody, he's like, you don't spit on somebody and not know what you're about to do. He's like, if you spit on somebody, all bets are off. So why would I have my hands on my hip? and allow the guy to, po to poke me in the face, I would be prepared for what's coming, which is a true statement. That's a real statement. That's something that, you know, you just don't blow off. That statement makes a lot of sense. But he's like, Chris Paul goes and tells ESPN, he goes and tells the journalists, he tells the NF NBA officials, and he's like, they believe it. So I, I get three games and he gets two games, you know, because of his position of who he is. But he's always been this way. He's a bad teammate. He's like, look at what, ask the people what he did when he was with the Clippers. What did he do last year when he played against the Clippers and he went through the locker room? Through the, and people don't think that he's capable of doing such things. But he's like, no, he's always been that kind of guy. As Sean says, they call him Shorty Dirty. That's what Sean call him, Shorty Dirty. Chris Paul got the Napoleon complex. Now, me and this Mr. BMW guy are going to have to have a conversation if he thinks it's, it's cool to just cut me off.
Well, naturally, when you see a situation like that, that everybody's going to rally behind him and not believe Rondo because <clears throat> Rondo has a track record and everything else. And I believe Rondo's position. I know, truck. Let me get out here, please. Yeah, well, that's the thing. <clears throat> What's up? They finally letting people get in the chat? They weren't letting anybody jump in for a long time, so we've been talking for six minutes, and barely anybody's in here because they're doing their, their usual uckery. Early in the morning. Now, Chris Paul... In his narrative, did, was he spit on? Yes. Rondo said it was accidental. I could believe that. And I believe that's But for Chris Paul to react the way he did and poke him in the eye and do all the stuff like that, you know, I can I understand why Chris did what he did. It's an unfortunate incident. But if Chris Paul was listening, he already know that, okay, dude probably did accidentally spit on me because if he's right. If I spit on somebody, I'm not going to have my hand on my hips. He's like, <clears throat> he's like, I got my hand on my hips. I'm not expecting anything to come back. He's like, if I spit on somebody, all bets is off. We finna fight. But they trying to, he's like, they trying to, you know, mess me up in the game by making me look like a bad teammate when he's a bad teammate. He's like, ask people that play with him. He's always been a bad teammate. Oh, it was a bad car accident. I was gonna say, man, I was like, man, we finna be stuck out here on this road for a long time. That's what's slowing everybody up. This crazy accident, early in the morning. I appreciate it. So no, but I believe Rondo 100%. Pistons Club is, is pretty good.
Sir, I'm always, I'm always paying attention to the road. <clears throat> now, like I was saying early this morning, Okay, there's a big wall block of traffic. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm going to be into it for a long time. Oh, the problem? Well, the problem in most situations is simple. Uh, with Rondo and then with, when you already play against a guy that, you know, you got a bad reputation or you guys don't like each other, this is always the norm. So it's nothing out of the ordinary to hear that Rondo and him. Plus, Rondo was getting killed the whole game by Chris Paul. Chris Paul was tearing him up. Now, Rondo's a great player, and so is Chris Paul. Thanks, Weaver. They're both uh, great basketball players. Chris Paul IQ is a lot better than Rondo's. They're both injury prone. Um, I don't know what I could tell you. I mean, Chris Paul's a better basketball player, in my opinion. But Chris Paul's never played on a championship team. Like he told him in 08 and 09 when he got into it back then, Rondo told him he'll never win a championship. Chris Paul probably holds that over him to this day. But now you see the NBA is going to make this match up in the playoffs. They're going to put the Rockets and the Lakers together and they're going to use this whole fight as momentum and promotion. Now the NBA claims they don't like fights and that's not what they want to promote and that's not what their game is about but yet have you seen any highlights from the game i mean james harden crossed lebron james went up and dumped the basketball over javel mcgee that was a highlight moment yet <clears throat> we don't see any highlights from the game only thing we see is the fight from the moment it happened they showed you nothing but clips 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 so the fight i mean the game was over they went straight to the fight Fight, 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 fight. <clears throat> oh, I would do the the whole women's situation when we get the one crack news. Cause I got the info I got the full one one on it. What's up? Now we're moving. <clears throat> I know, I was watching a basketball story. And unbelievable, man. In that basketball story, they basically told the entire world what was going on like basketball the love story like the way it, it was too many fights too many brawls and they had to clean it up but now the way social media is oh that would be a nothing but a gold mine for the nba think about it three makes a lot of their money based on the fact that they got fights and like arguments People cursing each other out, and they promote it. And people love the big three. 
now you're trying to make a, a easy playing game where you're not allowed to argue at each other you're not allowed to do a lot of stuff you can't have any emotional reactions or you know any emotional reaction what's the nfl is doing the same thing it's taunting of course it's taunting it's football you taunt each other from the moment you're on the court i mean on the field the basketball court is the same thing patrick beverly he's always pumped up he's always running out at the mouth he gets some people's heads He takes pride in being first team all defense. He takes pride in it. cares about that stuff man I'm on green screen yeah I wish I was on green screen right now Rondo, nobody's thinking about that situation because really, what are we talking about then? You know, we start complaining about like, can Rondo, what's going to happen to Rondo if this happens, what's going to happen to Rondo if that happens, then what are we really doing, man? Um, if the Lakers can't beat Phoenix, even without Rondo and Ingram, because you scored 130 some, uh, 140 some points without them too. So, the NBA wanted to increase. LeBron had what? Four points at half? <laughs> Almost, you know? So it's like he couldn't buy a shot. I, like I told you, there might be something wrong. I don't know if he has an injury. He might have injured something in the preseason. He's trying to, or he's trying to play himself into shape. But he does not look like the LeBron James you've been known, you know, look like he's hit the wall. Nah, don't worry about me, man. I'm very alert when I'm driving. That's what I said, it's all lies. All of it is lies. When they come on, we don't care about the, the fighting, we don't care about the going on here, we don't care about what's going on. All lies. They more than care. If I was on the damn round, I wouldn't be able to move.
Good morning, Mr. Sledge. I mean, of course they're going to put LeBron in the Hall of Fame. You think they're not? But his, his, all his thing is a farce. You know, I'm here to expose the truth. I mean, of course the NBA is going to paint this picture of him being the most dominant player whenever he decides to leave the game. We all know the truth because we've all witnessed it. The, the generations that comes be after us will hail this guy up as if he was the greatest thing to ever come to the NBA. For a marketing standpoint, yes. They were able to, the NBA was able to use him as a marketing tool and build him up to be what they wanted him to be. Why they shaped the league around all his BS. It hurt the game, but the marketing dollar and spoil and pamper him. And so now he's a grown 30 some year old, 17 year old kid. What's up, Jay? I need a dollar this morning. Yeah, well, click the link in the description box and go leave a donation. <laughs> as simple as that. But Rondo and Chris Paul, they should just move on. Situation's done. Everybody should just move on. <laughs> but I believe what Rondo said. More than anything in this world, I believe him. When he said, if I spit on somebody on purpose, there's no way I'm gonna have my hands on my hip. He's like, I'm not even in a fighting position. Cause I know if I spit on somebody on purpose, I already know all bets are off. You know, we getting ready to fight. Like, so that's a dumb one. Now, right, so go ahead if you want to click the link in the description box. You can leave a donation to the page and leave a message, uh, email, number if you want me to contact you. I've seen a couple of people do it uh, yesterday and the day before that, and I did get your messages. And you, some people have some very interesting messages. I'll, I'll respond to those. Uh, just, you know, I was like, wow, okay. And when we get off of here, That's LeBron James. Every time you watch him play basketball, how I get away with murder. That's the name of the game. So yeah, I watch that all the time. Now, this live chat will end, and minutes later we will continue with this story. And we're gonna go into Chris Paul's wife and what happened in the crowd while this fight was going on. some very interesting things took place. And I'm going to do that on One Crack News, the other news channel. So I'm out. <laughs>